Well, hello people! Welcome back in the Rupa Official with me, Sopa Padilla. And this occasion will have special people and special guests too. And the audience, anybody know? Who is she? Hi! She is from Chiamis and during this section, we will talk deeply about her education background, experience, and her activity in her daily life. Well, hello sister! Hi! What's going on tonight? Hmm, I felt so great tonight. Hmm, it's good condition. Hmm, I heard that you are coming from Chiamis? Hmm, actually, I'm not originally come from Chiamis. But I come from Tasik Malaya, and now I live with my parents and my honey sister and brothers in Chamis. Hmm, yes, I think that you are happy with them. But yes, I soon forget. Uh, what is your complete name, and how do I call you? Hmm, my name is Sharifa Murima Awalia, and usually my friend call me Sharifa, and you can call me. It's up to you. Oh, that's a good name. Um, sister, do you have an education background? Hmm, sure, I will be glad to tell you. When I was five years old, I school at Al Fatah Kindergarten. And when I was seven years old, I continued my school to Chiarwati Elementary School. And now, I am a Zoroafa student. It's located at Sukarame, Singapana, Tasik Malaya. And now, I have been for about 5 years there. Wow, it's amazing! What's something interesting that you are stay at Surofa for this school for about 5 years? Okay, firstly, this is not what I want. But because this is a main gift for my parents and I obey their wishes. And day to day, week to week, month to month, Years to years, I feel so comfortable here, and I'm very interested in English, which we always practice in our daily activities. And now I continue my school to Norwafa Senior High School, and now I have been for about five years. Hmm, I see you, and this year is not the cheap, and it turned out that best way for you, right? It's right, I think this is way for me. Hmm, by the way, sister, do you have an experience? Wow, you have taught me about experience. I have been experienced exactly about learning English. Wow, what did you get and what did you feel about learning English? Okay, now, since I started learning English, there are many things that I felt. Because here, I'm still in the process of learning English. Sometimes, I easy to understand and sometimes I difficult to understand but if you face it with enthusiasm it will be easy to understand and if you face it with leslie then you will find it difficult to understand those things and the things I got it from learning English it was very valuable for me because English language is an international language and I'm very proud to speak a Persian language. For an example, process I have experienced is to follow the English storytelling competition and I as the participate in the program. On top, it was the first time for me, but I can't take the challenge because I want to test myself when I help learn. And with confidence in my heart, I can take the third place and it's very grateful that I have a job in the competition and then I don't forget to thank you for small or big things that have been to teach me to be the way I be. Okay, with the taking time, I answered your question and now I would like to repeat your question. What you get and what you feel regarding your English learning experience. Wow, it's amazing. That's a really great experience. And sure, sister, you asked about my experience learning English. Yes, that's right. Because I want to know what is your experience in English. Hmm, I just have a little experience learning English. Hmm, where I go for learning English is not so far from your answer. 
The name of solar name sometimes is easy, sometimes is difficult because it's different hours of each other to face it. And I will be very grateful I have be small example of my experience. When I when I was on holiday, I, I went to Dewatanai with my big family. And I holiday not just to play, but to learn about the history that was in Indonesia. And it's very beautiful and good to feel mentally. Besides that, I'm very proud of this country because it has many miraculous events. Uh, for example, is the water land. There are many people from abroad come to Indonesia just to come to the water land, which is in Bali. And by the chance, I met them. I talked to them, talking about their life and what they was going to come to Indonesia. And I'm very proud to chat with them because we share many experience, knowledge, and everything I want to ask. And could that time, I could communicate with them. It's really well because the endless language. Mm, okay, this is sorry, maybe that's a little experience of me. And now I will continue to ask you about your activity that's when you stay at Nuwafa Birding School. Okay, when I stay in Nuwafa Birding School, I have a very busy time starting from 4 a.m. we waking up to worship at dawn and reciting the classic book and then oh, when 30 minutes past 6 we breakfast and going to school and we come back from school and re congregation zuhur at quarter past 12 and then we got English vocabulary because to make easier to speak English and at night, we continue our programs that study Fikih classic book. And after that, we continue again our program that learn the English in every class. And finally, we follow the absent every night at 9 o'clock. Wow, it is a useful activity. Besides, you learn about the classic book, you also learn about English. And this is the way of your success, right? Yes, that's right. I hope it happened to myself. Okay, by the way, sister, um, as I know, the Waffle Birding School is, is the English conversation, and I think that there are many materials that you got when you stay at the Waffle Birding School. And can you tell me part of the material that you got in the Waffle Birding School? Okay, we already know that the Waffle Birding School is. English character because we use English conversation in our daily activity. Um, okay, now I will tell you part of material what I got from learning English when I stay at the Rafa Birdie School. Okay, uh, when you want to test your pronunciation in English, you can use tongue twister. Hmm, where is tongue twister? I just hear that. Okay, tongue twister is the sentences on words that pronoun uh, correctly in English language. Hmm, can you give me an example? Okay, I will give you part of example, but before that, I will tell you because in tongue twister there are three level, beginning from um, what the name easy, medium, and also hard. And I will give a, the example now. <clears throat> listen me well. Yes, I will listen to you. Very bad, some better, but the better was better. So very bad, some better, better to make the better, better, better. Whoa, it's so difficult for me, but I want to try it. Okay, mm, can I try it? Please, you can try it. Okay, well, listen to me, right? Better, but some better, but better. What? I forget and can you repeat me for about once for a time? Okay, I will repeat for you once. And my listen me well and attention me well. Yes. Okay. Very but some better but the better was better. So very but some better better to make the better better better. Okay, I got you. Okay, now I'm really excited. Okay. 
ready about some butter but the butter was bitter so make the box some better butter to make the bitter butter better Is yes that right? that's right okay that's really good story sister but anyway we have been at the end of the agenda and for sister Sharifa, thanks for coming here and for the audience thank you so much for watching this podcast and see you next time bye